the serial of the plane and French cabinets and reveries will not take off. France has also qualified for the semi-finals of the ongoing FIFA on the 20 Women's World Cup. Ah, so that's it. So much to follow. Uh, talking about women's football, you can be part of the conversation on Twitter, our channels, and of course, post Facebook channels. I think post. Let's welcome Chinasia Ibonye now. He joins us now live in the studio. Uh, Chinasia, good to have you around. Uh, good morning, Austin. How are you doing? Mm, super, super. Chinasia, you, you. I don't know. Let me get your opinion. Um, it, it was a fight between Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg, but. Ah, talks here and there. You think they actually wanted Nico to win? Let me sound like Mourinho. I, I don't think the best driver won the championship. I don't think the best driver won the title this season because it was obvious that Hamilton was the better driver all through. Uh, Hamilton had different engine issues. Rosberg started the season on fire, winning his first four races. But before is the, it the same car? But before the tenth race, was is it season, the same car? Yeah, same car. Same car. It's, it's, it's about usage. Come on, man. It is about usage. You need to follow this. Come on, man. Come on. It is no, but it's got a point. The coincidence coins. is too much. It is too much. Because so you're joining the conspiracy I'm, I'm just theory. saying. I'm just saying. Two two cars, the same cars, right? Yeah. And one's engines keep uh, uh, having issues and whatever. Usage. Come on, usage. It could just come on. No, it could be usage. It could be um, the major the problem, problem for Hamilton was in Malaysia. And it was how he used the car that his engine broke. <laughs> no, it wasn't how he used the car. We, we still don't know the reason why the engine broke. So, so, so what's your point? So what's your point? What I'm saying is that I think uh, <laughs> as the best driver did not win the championship this season. Mm. Uh, and a lot of flack coming from Hamilton after yesterday's race. And I don't know why. Well, what do it you think about his tactics, though? Fantastic tactics. Because really? Because it made the race exciting. It's yeah. a, Formula 1 is based on tactics and everything. Yeah. And the man, he felt, he knew that Rosberg Nets... Well, you also need to listen to your about engine. instructions. Well, instructions. Well, they're giving to you the the great drivers, Michael Schumacher, Sebastian Vettel, who ignore. See, if you. you Rosberg sort of why I, I don't really I'm not really into Formula One anymore because Rosberg doesn't make it look like it doesn't make it exciting. Formula One is supposed to be very exciting. And if everything you do you try to play <laughs> by the books and do everything, it won't Jesus, you know, yeah. this is my problem. <laughs> this is the problem I have with sports fans. You like Hamilton. You like Hamilton. Everyone likes Lewis. Like you like the sort of you know competition yeah, see, it brings when, to when, it. When Vettel Rosberg was winning. Come um, on, give it to I, Nico. He showed good character all season. Nami kept telling me that uh, uh, Hamilton was better than Vettel and whatever. But I, I, I kept saying Vettel is also a fantastic driver. Yeah. You know, and Vettel won for championships. And we've seen. And then it was really boring. 
Yeah, I'm yes. I'm sorry. Because there was no competition. There was no competition. He was from who? From who? And it was no competition. There was no competition from the team. Red then. Bull. Red Bull was so fast at the yeah, time. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Julius. <laughs> yeah. I, I get it. I wanted that conversation to go. Give some props to him. Yeah. Give him his props. I wanted that conversation to go on because that's what we're getting on social media. So, guys, let's keep the conversation going on Twitter and on Facebook. We'll continue to monitor it. Let's go to Cameroon Action as you talk about the Super Four Cons. How confident are you to make a final? Oh, well, uh, I've seen their games. I've seen the way they play and everything. Uh, my problem with that team is the defense. Hmm. You know, they've not really been tested. And, the, and, and when they came up against the good side, talking about the Ghanaians, we saw a little bit of... Uh, uh, there, were, there, were, there, were, there were some nervousness in that team and everything. So I, I hope when they come up against South Africa, we saw the South Africans against Egypt, and we saw how uh, prolific their strikers were, how they were able, how composed they are on the ball and everything. You know, they can take on defenders, they have those kind of skills. So I think the Super Falcons should be very wary. Uh, I saw the interview uh, with the, when the player was talking about the fact that they are not proud, but mm -hmm. they just want to retain their title. That's what it I is. I think they should also make sure that they have their business covered. The South Africans are here, they want to get a, a win over Nigeria and maybe get to the finals, so we shouldn't take that much for granted. And I, I believe that the Falcons, if they apply themselves very well, I think they should be able to beat the South Africans, the South Africans and get to the final. Mm. Okay. So Tyron, if if, if they apply themselves well, that would be very important. Yeah. Very important, yeah. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Uh, we, we talked about um, Akbaranuzi before he you know, joined us on set. I mean, do you see how you know coming in to start this game, or do you think she, she continues to play, you know, the role from the bench? No, I like the way she came in from the bench. I think it's good to have players like that, impact players on the bench, so that if, if it's not happening for you, okay. uh, with the people you put out, out there to start the game, you can bring in somebody to try and make a difference. Mm. Mm. Okay, let's talk about the, the English Premier League now. Um, that one got a lot of you, uh, you guys talking. So let's start a conversation with the hashtag APL Chinasia. What a season! Victor Moses is having. Where is this form coming from? Uh, you know, it depends on how the coach believes in you because Conte mm -hmm. has come out to say that he, he doesn't know why uh, the coaches didn't use Victor My Moses uh, that, that, that much uh, during his time at Chelsea and uh, he, he, he feels he's a fantastic player and Victor Moses is paying the coach's confidence in him. Mm -hmm. Victor Moses, yep. he believes in himself now the coach believes in him and we're hearing rumors about Barcelona getting interested. You know, it just shows you everything. That's a distraction. I don't know. Leave these guys to just play their football. Why not? It's part of the game, though. It's part of the game. It's part of the game. When you play very well, of course, our big club come for you. Well, let him concentrate on Chelsea. And that's what Chichi is doing. He's that that the fact the formation is working for him. That's that's the bottom line. Out of the midfield, all going winning the balls well, good work rate. I think it's fantastic for Moses and. Let's just hope he continues like this. It's still a long season. And, oh, it's still a very you know, long so season. Your luck can still see. happen. Let's just hope that he continues like this to the end of the season. Mm. And he can, and he can carry the form to the end of the season. Time mm. to run through some of the results. Yeah, let's go through some of the results. And um, uh, we talked about the uh, the derby uh, between Tottenham and Chelsea. Chelsea. What a game that was. Tottenham started like a house on fire, went ahead, totally dominated the first 40 minutes of the game. But as soon as Pedro got that equalizer and uh, it was... Um, downhill for them it's a mental thing now for tottenham Why? they have never won at the start at Stamford bridge in the history of the premier League. you know since 92 when they went like, after the old division when it became yeah. premier yes, they, they have never have. gone to Stamford bridge and gotten the victory so i think it's becoming mental look at last season they were chasing the title mm -hmm. they were two goals off Gosh. everything seemed to be going their way and immediately considered one they just you know crumbled and the same thing happened uh, mm -hmm. yeah, um, just on saturday mm -hmm. they were actually playing well they were playing really well dominating the game and once chelsea got that goal of course maybe against the run of play depending yeah, on how yes, you it was against the run of play but maybe chelsea got that goal things changed and chelsea took over and, and at the end of the day chelsea got the victory but their first loss of the season thought not had lost all season but they had to go to Stamford Bridge <laughs> and they need to find a way to get, to get that past. mental thing off of Stamford Bridge so that they can go there and get a win but not looking about the draw now they need to Come on, if not, we have, we've not won a Stamford Bridge since the start of the Premiership in ni since 1990. That alone, we don't want to do it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it's too much, man. Mm -hmm. uh, so, now, we're yeah, about other results, yeah, mm -hmm. other results as well, too. Now, let's talk about this one. This one was um, yesterday, as between, uh, okay, you're the perfect person to talk about this one. <laughs> Manchester United. Yet again, dropping points at home, uh, this time against West Ham. That's four in a row now at home. Mm. It's never happened before you in know, the Premier know, League. Tired, not, not, and you, Jose, put it down to bad luck. But how long are you going to keep uh -huh. putting it down to bad luck uh -huh. when you're creating chances after chances and chances and your strikers uh -huh. are not scoring? Okay. That's uh, quality, quickly, right? Quickly, That's quickly, ability let, let, issues. From what Jose said, he talked about bad luck. 
Okay, let me quickly make a reference to Leicester City uh, before they won the league, the season before they won the league, where they were playing really well and not getting results, and it seemed like they were going to get relegated mm. until it turned for them and they started getting results and stuff. So, yeah, maybe book the lock might be the right place of battle because you'll see these games four game, four home games, 91 shots, yes, three goals. It's uh, that's not you, bad luck. That's that's it, it, that's been wasteful. It's, it's, it's a combination of everything. We, yeah, of course, we've seen chances being wasted by the likes of Zlatan and uh, you know Lingard and the rest of them all through the course of this those four games we've talked about. And you start asking yourself, would you blame the coach now? No, that's would not you the coach. Blame, blame the players because if you blame if you, if you say you're blaming the players, then you you have to, you have to fall back to the coach. Say, of course. why doesn't he bring off this player and put on and put on this player? But it seems not just to be happening right now for Mourinho. I mm. think. Uh, let, 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 let them continue because when they when they had Louis Van Gaal, when Manchester United had Louis Van Gaal, the problem was they were boring, they weren't great at creating chances. chances. Okay. Man United considered mm -hmm. the goal, you think the game is almost over, mm -hmm. or you start looking for how they will get a goal. But now, Manchester United are dominating games, but they are just mm -hmm. so. What's the way forward? Do you think this kind of situation can be remedied on the training ground? I mean, can they start? You know, I don't know, doing uh, more of shooting I, practice. I, I think right now it has to be more psychological. That's it has the to word, be, it has to be more psychological yeah. because they're yeah. doing everything they can do to get mm -hmm. results. They are playing well. They are getting chances. So I think they start, the players have to start believing in themselves. You know, saying. This game is not going to end in the draw. We're going to, whether by yeah. or we're going to get something or we're going to get a win. So now it's, it's more psychological because I think they've done they, They've shown on the pitch those everything fouls, they can do. Yeah, they, know, they, need they need to work on it. Come on. They need to work on it in training. It is Fergie. They need to work on it. A lot of work needs to go yeah, into that team because we kept on saying that it wasn't the fault of. Louis Van Gaal, it wasn't the fault of David Moyes. It's the psychology of the players. There's just something wrong. I think they've not gone beyond the era of Alex Ferguson. Yeah, well, it's, it's been how many years now? It's they need to move years, on from that. Years and, uh, no, I, I think right now, like, like what I just said earlier, I think right now it has to do, because we've seen a, a great deal of difference from when they had David Moyes and yes, Van Gaal. Van Gaal yeah. the, fact that, the fact that they come out to play now and they dominate games, they yes. get chances. So I think it's just a matter of time, mm. a matter of more belief into the players. They will mm. start getting the results. Just start getting the results.